Now, this is going to be a very interesting interview. Two geologists from the University of Johannesburg are responsible for finding, uh, and it, I don't know if they can, we can say that they're finding, but we'll, we'll get the full story for you. Uh, they find an exotic stone that is unknown, not only on Earth, but also it's not really known elsewhere in our solar system either. Apparently, it is also not a meteorite or a comet. So what is this? Well, Dr. George uh, Belianin, one of the two geologists who is, uh, is studying and uh, looking into the stone, joins us now in studio to hopefully shed a little bit of light on all of this for us. Doc, thanks for coming in. Good to have you. Thank you. Okay, so, I mean, we, you did not discover this. I mean, I've got this in the introduction that you discovered this stone. This <laughs> no, wasn't I you. Not, this is, I did not discover it. This was discovered in Egypt. So, what, in 2013? Um, no, it was first discovered in 1997. 97. By Egyptian geologist uh, Ali Barakat. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, mm -hmm. but because they didn't have a proper equipment that, that, that site in Egypt, so they could not study it properly. But when he already tried to cut the stone using a saw, like a normal met metal saw, this is what they usually use to cut stones, yeah. he broke the saw. So it, it, there was already, obviously, an evidence that the stone was too hard. And then when we got the stone later on, uh, I tried to polish it because we needed to see what's inside of the stone. Yeah. You understand? So, uh, so we tried to polish it. And we used diamonds to polish. To polish it. Yeah, because diamonds is the hardest material on Earth. And I broke the, the polishing disc, which was made of diamonds. I broke it in five minutes. And that is, because that's stone, never been done before. Yeah, it's never been done I mean, done this is, before, the, is yeah. you're trying to tell me that this is possibly the, the hardest... The hardest material which we probably discovered. On the planet for yeah, now. Yeah, probably. Are we, we guessing yeah. at this point that this actual discovery... I mean, I don't even know if we can call it a stone. I think there's a, there is a name for it. I was looking at this. <laughs> it's called the Hypatia of Alexandria. Is yeah, that what it's called? Yeah, which was named after the Egyptian mathematician. So yeah, yeah. it is not necessarily a stone. It's not a rock. What is it? It's, uh, we assume that it probably came from, uh, from outer space somewhere. And the, the research which has been done, because we've been doing research, I think, since 2011. So more than six years now. Yeah. And uh, b based on all the data which we managed to, managed to acquire or to get, um, we think that it's most likely Formed, it was formed before our sun was formed. The sun, which unbelievable. We all, yeah, yeah. That's how far yeah. it would date back. Yeah. Um, is I know that from some of the research that you've done, you have found some different minerals inside of it. Something yeah. that that doesn't exist here on Earth. But what is it? I mean, how how would you explain um, it? You see, um, it's uh, the stone is made of carbon. Carbon is uh, you know the element of life. Um, and all the, all the other materials which we found before, both on, on, on Earth and, uh, and from the outer space, meteorites. Meteorites is an extraterrestrial material, so yeah. it's something which came from somewhere else. It wasn't formed here on Earth. So our stone is very different from those meteorites because it's made of, it, it, it contains about, I think, 70% of carbon which is very unusual. Mm. And because of it, it also contains diamonds, because diamonds is carbon. So this is a very it. valuable piece it's of very unusual, information. It's very unusual, nothing what's ever been discovered. So yeah. you've, you, I mean, other meteorites, I mean, we, we know of meteorites yeah. that have landed meteorites here on are, Earth. There are plenty of there them plenty on of Earth, them. Yeah. And this is not similar to any other one that has ever been discovered on yeah, Earth. Yeah, it's very unusual, very unique, specific, and it contains some chemical uh, compounds, let's call them, yeah. some, some, some stuff. We call them minerals in geology, which uh, have never been discovered from both on, uh, neither on Earth or, or no um, meteorites. Yeah. How many other countries, I mean, obviously it's, it's here in South Africa now, which is a great accolade and a great honor. Um, well, I suppose uh, the question is, how, how did it land here? And how was, is it UJ? That's, that's uh, you, the research was obviously, you know, in, in modern science, uh, people um, can't work in one laboratory. Yeah. Of course, it's, it's always international research. So for instance, our stone traveled to Australia. We sent it there, then it went to Potsdam in Germany. 
Um, of course, we, I, I went to Cape Town to study it in another laboratory. So it's always, the modern research is always uh, uh, collaboration, yeah. Sure. So uh, w w w one thing I do know but in UJ, terms of, of course, keep, uh, it's keeping, it keeping is the, the now, most this, of the credit. Yeah. This particular stone, I'm just going to call it stone yeah. for the interview's purposes, yeah. was formed in temperatures of minus 196 degrees Celsius. Most likely under very, very, what we call it, primitive conditions. So that's when you say yeah. this was before the sun. That's why, yeah. yeah. This is incredible. I mean, on a closing note, so what are we, what's going to happen? I mean, where, where, where I mean, we, are, we, we still have lots of uh, material to be, to publish lots of data, yeah. so it's an ongoing research. Is there anything we can read into it as yet, or where it comes from, anything from we the past? We never know, something, something like that might be found again somewhere. Yeah. So it's, it's a very, very exciting story. It certainly is, and it's a developing story that's happening just down the road here. I mean, can you believe it, that the strongest um, what, diamond can't even cut through this, and that is the song, strongest stone that we have here on Earth. Probably. Cannot get through this. That is just incredible. I mean, I think it's so fascinating. We'll keep up with uh, uh, our two researchers that are looking into this here in South Africa. In fact, just down the road at the University of Johannesburg, the stone that was found, uh, not from this planet and nothing ever seen before. So this is something very, very fascinating. Dr. Uh, Georgi Belanin is uh, from the University of Johannesburg talking to us about it here on Morning Live. All right, let's take a break.